Hey guys, it's Stacy, and I figured if I don't really play many dating sims, why not start with one that's all birds? Yay! <laughs> I have to full boyfriend, looks like a lot of fun, I hear the story's very intriguing, so we're gonna give it a go. We're gonna try and do some voices, but as you all know, some of you may know, I tend to forget what they are, so they might change. Oh well, sorry. We're gonna get to the end, see what happens. Maybe we eat some of these birds, who knows. New game. St. Pidgeot Nations Institute. Welcome to St. Pidgeot Nations. Please enter your name. Hiyoko, no. We're dizzy. Oh, penguin, we'll be a bird too. Penguin. Is Dizzy Penguin okay? I'm I'm doing great. Are you okay? How to full boyfriend includes a powerful visual visualization module, allowing even the birdiest of birds to appear as normal humans when first introduced. Display human portraits? Yes. Let's do it. Configuration saved. St. Pidgeot Nations, a school blessed with extensive curricula and facilities. It's already been a year since I ended my ordinary life and walked through these gates. I school is known for one thing in particular. This school is Japan's, no, the world's greatest gathering place for gifted birds. Ones that could talk and do math, apparently. Birds who want to study the arts, the sciences, and even sports. Sports? <laughs> I'll come to St. Pidgeot Nations. I'm picturing a pigeon basketball team right now. It's pretty awesome. The teaching staff and student body are both made up of a diverse blend of birds of different backgrounds and species. I'm often asked why I come here, despite not being a bird. That's a pretty good question. It's a long story. Okay. Not every day I see you rushing around like this. Ryuta! Usually you'd have been ready for an hour by now, Dizzy. Overslept? Aww. He's adorable. Look at the blue with the red eyes. This rock dove is named Kawara Ryuta. We've been friends since he was barely hatched. That's awkward. He can be a little mischievous, but he's responsible and kind. Breakfast was a little hard to catch today. I c to catch? I can't relax without red meat inside. Living as a hunter-gatherer sounds tough. I'd be happy to help make you breakfast, you know. I might take you up on that after when starvation looms. Thanks, Ryuta. Oh, the bell already? Come on, we need to hurry to class. Jeepers, no good being late on the first day. And so Ryuta pulled me along into the school. Today is the start of a new semester. I wonder what lies in store. It was all I could do to adjust to the atmosphere last year. Better make up for all that lost fun. Okay. Hatuful Boyfriend, the most splendid and greatest academy of the pigeon, by the pigeon and for the pigeon. Oh, look at them sparkly pigeons. Guys, they don't sparkle like that in real life. Hate to disappoint. I think we're in 2-3. Ryuta and I are in the same class again. Old faces, new faces, a strange thrill fills my heart as I look around at the assembled birds. I hope we all get along. Here's to the formation of many happy memories. Oh, the teacher's here. Ah! Good morning, everybody! I'm Nanaki Kazuaki. I seem to be your teacher this year. I specialize in math and physics and also some other things. Oh, and then he fell asleep. Sir, wake up! It's homeroom! 
He sleeps with his eyes open? Oh gosh. Oh! He's beautiful! This quail is Nanaki Kazuaki. He is a famously sophorific math professor. I'd heard the rumors, but I hadn't... <clears throat> I'd heard the rumors, but I hadn't expected him to fall asleep just like that. Apparently, he's well known as a mathematician. Just goes to show, great minds come in all forms. Even little birdy ones. Oh, I'm sorry. Isn't it a little warm in here? Which reminds me, we have a transfer student. Please, introduce yourself, Shirogane. Oh, it's beautiful. What is the point? I have no wish to speak with commoners. Do not think I'm here because I wish to be. That's fine. Oh, well, I guess that's that. Hey, 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 that's no good. But he doesn't want to introduce himself. But we can't just let him break the rules like that, sir. The system will collapse and we'll all turn into kulaks and dissenters. Well, when you put it like that, could you at least say your name, Shirogane? I guess not. Shirogane Labelle Sakuya. Oh. It seems this fantail is Shirogane Sakuya. His feathers would make any birdie proud. Look at his hair and his eyes. They're just so dreamy. He's pretty stuck up, but then transferring is never easy. I hope we can be friends. Sakuya sits down, glaring daggers at Ryuta and me. I think this little bird is telling me there's going to be trouble down the line. Lunch already? Today is slipping by so quickly. That reminds me, I've had these books out from the library all summer. I'll return them now. My high school never would have let you have books all summer. You would not have passed on to the next grade. Where is everyone? Aside from the receptionist, there's hardly any birdie here. Any birdie. I'm gonna start using that in real life. Huh? Is someone looking at me? Probably just my imagination. <gasps> or not. A morning dove stands in a dark corner staring in my direction. Morning doves aren't very common in Japan, but apparently they're everywhere in America. Um, did you want something from me? He looked away. Not really. I'm pretty sure it was him who I felt looking at me. There's no one else here. Are you sure? Yes, I don't want anything with you. It's the things you're carrying that I'm interested in. He glances at the desk as if to say, hurry up and return them already. Oh, sorry. <laughs> they were a little too dense, and I never finished them. Were you waiting for them all summer? Oh, dear. We're not off to a great start making friends. He silently returns his gaze to his book. Maybe he's in a bad mood? I'm Penguin Dizzy, a sophomore. What about you? You're... Nageki. Fujishiro, Nageki, freshman. Oh, Fujishiro Nageki, huh? Morning doves are pretty rare in Japan. Maybe it's just his voice, but he seems kind of sad. No, he looks pretty sad. Leave me alone. He's reading his book again. Okay, sorry to bother you. I keep meeting depressing people today. <laughs> That's true. We're not making up for lost fun by any means. Now that I have that out of the way, I think I'll head back to class. Wait, isn't that... Oh, gosh. You should have been instructed not to approach me in school. Come on, Sakuya. What kind of thing is that to say to your own brother? 
after all these years. My brother? You must be joking. You've never once been a brother to me. Please don't try to talk to me again. I've no time for half-breeds. I'll be going now. Hey, wait just a... Yuya. I guess even if we're in the same school now, what's done is done. I hadn't meant to eavesdrop, but I think I just overheard something juicy. The ever-popular trendsetter in Ladies Man, Sakazaki Yuya, is Sakuya's brother? I wonder what the story behind that is. Hey. Oh! You heard that whole thing, right? Are you a friend of Sakuya's? I I'm sorry. I didn't mean to listen in on you. Mm. Nah, no sweat. I try to stay sexy and suave in front of all you little ladies, but that there wasn't too cool. Oh my gosh, I don't even know <laughs> what to give for a voice. <laughs> This fantail pigeon is Sakazaki Yuya, an upperclassman. I've never talked to him before, but he's famous, or infamous, throughout the school. Every birdie knows him. Oh gosh. You're dizzy, right? How, how did you... I know every birdie here. Besides, you're the only human. Duh. A single poppy in a field of rye. Maybe we'll give him, like, a dreamy poet attitude. Did you say you were a friend of Sakuya's? Uh, not exactly. We had a rather ballistic introduction this morning. We're in the same class, that's all. I'd never have thought that stuck-up aristocrat wannabe was your brother. Aristocrat wannabe? He is an aristocrat, actually. The genuine article in the flesh. He is... He's a bit of a pain, so good luck, mon ami. Adieu. He really is a noble bird. I've never heard anything like that about Yuya, though. Probably a twisty business. Oh, gotta love twisty business. Oh, man. That's all for today. Stay safe, everyone. Yay! Huh? Sir, where's Ryuta? He said he was going to the infirmary. Maybe you should go and see if he's still there? Now that I think about it, Ryuta always did have a weak stomach. I should go to the infirmary, just to make sure he's okay. Excuse me. No birdies here? There's no one sleeping behind the curtains. <laughs> Because they're birds. <laughs> and the doctors and- Oh! <laughs> I thought they meant the curtains on the window. <laughs> and the doctor isn't here either. They meant like in the patient beds. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm being like racist towards birds. I'm coming up with birdie stereotypes. <laughs> my hunter-gatherer instincts feel no presence. There's no birdie here. Ry Ryuta? No reply. The infirmary is empty. Weird. Did he go home already? I feel a little nervous poking around the empty room. Now that I think of it, I haven't been in here much before. Unlike Ryuta, I'm perfectly healthy. Whoa! They've got all kinds of drugs in here! What kind of game is this? We're drug hunting. Uh, it's Hethelpar, Trifee, Lucio, Benzene. What do these even do? Oh gosh, an unknown voice. Care to find out? Ah! Doctor! <laughs> Look at him, I just want to squeeze him. I'd feed you all sorts of things if you want. Hmm? No, thank you. Oh my gosh. Ah! <laughs> That's his human face? This partridge is Iwamain Iwamain Shu, the school doctor. He's rather creepy in person and has a bad reputation among the student body. 
everybody knows that even just talking to him can bring you down with aspergillus, psittacosis, or even worse things. Oh god. And I never even heard him come in the door. Ninja doctor? Oh my gosh. You don't look like you have a good reason to be in here. Did you need something? Um, I heard Ryuta Kawara from 2-3 was supposed to be here. Him? He's already gone. Oh. Why didn't he come find me before going home? Sorry to bother you. I'll be going now. Ugh. Finally out of that den of evil. Ryuta's already gone home. What do I do now? Oh. I never got around to joining a club last year. Maybe I'll go take a look at some of my options. I think there are clubs for baseball, soccer, track, kendo, migration, bird watching. Wasn't there another one? Anyway, I'll start with the track team. I ran in middle school and it's always funny watching the birds hop around. Oh, I think their club room is on the ground floor, off to the side. Let's watch birds hop around. A white dove is having a tantrum outside. <gasps> Woo! Coo coo! This is no pudding for a man. Coo! Akusan rejects it. It is a lie, a vicious falsification. He's dancing around on a squished pudding. Hey, that's not very nice. The pudding. Okusan, what? What is that picture? That's not a person. This is Okosan. He doesn't really look it, but supposedly he's a fantail pigeon, I think. Either way, he's hyper. What is happening? Cool. Oh, it's like a translation. Okosan has suffered a deception most vile, a wretched betrayal. Betrayal? Cool. Okosan instructed that pudding be provided for new members. Cool. But this is no pudding. Ousted, scorned, betrayed, dragged into the street, and shot by those he trusted the most. It's squished and filthy, but the thing under his feet looks like normal store-bought pudding. What's wrong with it? Coo coo! Spare the jest, young lady. Aquasan used wing attack. It's super effective. Coo! They'll rue the day they crossed Okosan. He'll have them flayed, hanged, shot at dawn. He will. Coo! Okosan was now trained to achieve true pudding. Farewell. What is happening? And he's gone. He's a good runner, but what does pudding have to do with the track team? That's a good question. And so ended the first day of my second semester at St. Pidgeonations. Nations.